Hello everybody, this is Darren from Arctic Arsenal and this is a Stunt Saber upgrade to show off today. This is an Ultra Saber's uh, Redemption. And well, why don't I start by telling what this used to have in it. Uh, what it used to have was a single red LED, I think it was a Rebel, and it had this module here. And what this is, they've taken a piece of blade stock and hot glued a nut in there and using that to mount the LED and they've got a reflector in here and uh, my own personal feeling is that's really a crummy way to set up an LED go into more of that in a minute and then they had it running off two AAA batteries and I reused the original switch at the customers request this to me is ridiculous this, <clears throat> these LEDs get hot and encasing one in hot glue and plastic there's nowhere for the heat to go and uh, well it's no wonder this thing burned out it uh, it got hot and the LED just burned out what I used in its place was a green uh, tri-cree LED now at the customer's request I only used two of the dyes uh, still plenty bright um, but with only using two of the dyes the battery will last a little longer and I put that LED in one of these LED modules. It's an actual metal module with a copper heat sink and it's sitting right about there. And that way copper is an excellent conductor of heat and it'll draw the heat away from the LED and into the Sabre body. When you're using this Sabre you'll notice it gets warm right around here. That's what it's supposed to do. That's a good thing. It means the heat's going somewhere. With a plastic hot glue mess like that there's nowhere for the heat to go and so now we've got a proper LED mount and the battery what I used there was an 18650 lithium-ion battery and I put the charge port in the pommel and uh, well, that's about it really this uh, saber should be a lot better now it's certainly a lot brighter well, and uh, I think the customer is going to be happy with it. Now what I did, I've lined up a bunch of sabers here just for comparison. Um, the customer was curious how bright this saber is going to be. And so I've lined some things up here. Okay, the middle one is the customer's saber. This one here is my son's little stunt saber, single green, single green rebel. And it's bright, it's decent. This here is my Mark 6, and when I built this one I'd put a single green rebel in it too, and they're pretty bright. Now this is the two dies of the green tri -Cree. As you can see it's much brighter. Um, let me just shut this one off. Just to show a comparison, this is my Jason Solo Saber, and it's currently running a tri rebel with the blue and the green wired together to make uh, sky blue. It's about the same brightness. So the two dyes of the Cree are about the same brightness as the two dyes of the tri rebel. And just as a comparison, this is my personal saber. That's a white uh, single die Cree. I think it's an XPL, I think, with a yellow filter. And actually, I don't think it's quite as bright. So just shut that off. So this is your saber, and uh, plenty bright. Certainly brighter than a single rebel, and about as bright as a tri rebel with the blue and the green. And uh, that's about it for now. And uh, we'll see you next time.